There are a number of inks that are available for calligraphy, but in fact not all are suitable. Some of the ink that is specifically sold for calligraphy is the most unsuitable of all. Some calligraphy ink is very thin. It's perfect for going through a fountain pen, but it's so thin that you can see guidelines underneath your letter forms. Other calligraphy ink is sold as waterproof, and this may mean that it has shellac in it. Shellac will clog your pen, and so if you're having difficulty with writing, it may not be you, it may be the ink that you're using. Chinese liquid ink is perfect for Western calligraphy. It's sold in specialist suppliers and also in shops that supply Chinese uh, writing equipment. In this container though, it isn't appropriate to use, so we need to decant it to a small little jar like this. This is very similar to the jars where you get preserves and marmalades in some hotels, but those little jars have a domed bottom. And what happens is if you haven't got much ink in there, the ink collects around the base of the dome and is quite difficult to use. Here you can see the base is flat. Again, these little jars are available for, from specialist suppliers. Simply decant some ink from the bottle into your jar and try it. If it's a bit thick and sticky, add water, and this is perfect for adding water, an ink dropper, again available from specialist suppliers, and you can dilute Chinese ink up to 50-50. You want it the consistency of thin runny cream, that is, thick enough to cover your guidelines, but not so thick that it won't go through your nib. And it's always a good idea to put the lid on securely before you move it around. Chinese ink is also available in sticks like this, and these often come in sets, with an inkstone. The Chinese value their writing equipment a great deal, and inkstones can be very beautifully carved and very elaborate, but this rather cheap one, which is in slate, is perfectly okay for our purposes. To change that solid ink into liquid ink, you need to add some water into the well of the inkstone and then just rub the inkstone up and down like this until the ink block gradually dissolves into the water and again you need it the consistency of thin runny cream. Don't grind up too much because the ink say, stays pretty well in a solid state, just as not much as you need and again then that needs to be decanted into a little jar because otherwise this huge surface area will mean that the water evaporates too quickly. There are also paints available for calligraphy and this is a set of paints that I developed with the Schmincke Paint Company. This is calligraphy gouache, it comes in a rather worn and torn box here. And in, as well as this, there is a leaflet that gives you some ideas of how to use the paints. Two yellows, two reds, two blues, two blacks, a green, an oxide of chromium isn't the very best green colour, but it's wonderful through a, a pen nib. Burnt sienna as a brown, which mixed with ultramarine makes the most fantastic grey. And then two me metallic colours, red pearl and gold pearl. And if you're not used to using metallic colours through a nib, then do get my DVD on illumination, which gives you lots of hints, and then a white. Gouache is opaque. It's like watercolour, but it is opaque, and so it needs to be mixed with water, again to the consistency of thin, runny cream. And this ink dropper is perfect for adding water a little by little. Mix it up until all the paint has dissolved. If you don't do that, as you're working, some of that paint will dissolve and will change the consistency. This is too thick. It needs to be thinner than that. And as you can see, this is about the consistency of thin runny cream, which will then work well with a, paint, uh, with a pen, pen nib. This is actually my preferred container. This is a science crucible. And you can see that the surface area here is less than a container like this. 
and they often have lids that you can put on and so you can keep the paint for as long as you wish. Don't ever wash out paint palettes because the paint will keep. Just simply add water. And the ideal is a white palette because it shows the colour best.